Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Heather B, Denture Diva. Um, for all of you that don't know, I handle a lot of things. Basically health stuff, do some vlogging with my kids, but I always try to be transparent with you guys and always be real. Um, so if you like my content, don't forget to subscribe. Wow. And like um, the video if you like it, so I know, you know, if you like it. And comment um, if you guys have any videos for my video of the week that I'm doing right now, but if any videos of the week for the future, comment down below or send me the link of videos um, that you love when it comes to health or even uh, dentistry. You can send it to my email, it's in the description below, and I will always check it out. Um, and if I love the video, I'll share it in my next video of the week. So don't forget to do that. So this video of the week is from the Cancun Dentistry. Um, it's actually pretty cool. I actually randomly came across it. And he's talking about, does dentures harm your stomach? And they absolutely do. Absolutely. Um, especially if you're not aware of how much you're chewing your food. There are many people out there that... Your tongue, you can feel anything. You can, obviously, you can mush your food around, you can chew, you do all that. And when we have dentures, you don't really feel what you're eating. You can absolutely feel the pressure as you're biting. You do know where the food is. But to make sure that you're chewing it completely through, um, use your tongue, guys. I always tell everybody this in my eating videos, but use your tongue and feel, make sure you're chewing your food all the way through. Because if you don't, it sits in your stomach and it's not that easy to break up and break down with the stomach acids and it can mess up your entire GI tract. Sorry, I have Hallmark in the background. I randomly decided to do this video, so you're gonna hear some Hallmark. But um, the guy talks about it in a brief video. It's not a long video at all. Um, he also tells you about alternatives like doing snap-on dentures. But the whole thing is, is I did a poll on that. And if you guys saw me in the support groups um, and I did a video on it that most people still use adhesive. Now. If you use too much adhesive, remember, using adhesive, some of it still gets in your stomach. You're still somewhat swallowing it. Um, so you always want to make sure that you have like a good hold on your denture and you're not using too much. If you're using too much adhesive and you're applying it more than once a day, you need a different adhesive. Absolutely. There's so many adhesives on the market. I recommend Fix It on Ultramax, Fix It on with Scope, and Dr. B's. Those are my three top ones. That, to me, they work better. Um, but everybody's so different, but make sure guys, you let your denture glue dry in your mouth. When you put it in there, do not eat or drink. Make sure you're paying attention to that for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, because if it's a glue, it has to dry like all glues do. But if you want to check out this video, it's very easy and quick. And you guys can even Google it yourself about stomach acids and what dentures, how it affects your stomach and all of that. If you guys want me to do my own video on this topic, comment down below that you want me to do it and I'll totally do it because we all know I research and I'll probably give a lot of detail. Um, but I love this uh, YouTube channel. I think they're amazing and I've seen so many videos. I think I've actually done one other video of the week months and months ago of them. Um, they're, pretty, they're pretty great. So in the description below is gonna be the um, link to this video for video of the week. So if you guys want to check it out, check it out, see how you like it. Um, if you want more information, I can absolutely give it to you um, if you guys prefer. But I hope you guys have a great day. God bless, guys. Stay safe. Later.